many members question whether the Dodd-Frank Act effectively ends too big to fail. Last summer, the House Financial Services Committee passed the Protecting American Taxpayers and Homeowners Act. It's the acronym for that, as many in government like to say, it's the PATH Act. The PATH Act ends bailouts for Fannie Mae and Fannie Mac, and they uh, do that by placing greater emphasis on private capital rather than the taxpayer's dollars. You have to keep in mind that the PATH Act has not been filed in the Senate. However, there have been several bipartisan bills filed in the Senate. Currently, the chairman of the Banking Committee, Senator Tim Johnson, and the ranking member of that committee, uh, Senator Mike Crapo, are working very closely to bridge the gap between the two parties. Currently, we already have different rules and regulations based upon bank size, and that often has to do with the dollar amount of the deposits of a bank. If you're from a rural area like I am, you see small banks struggling. We've had some close. Uh, many are bought up by the big city banks. So in order to preserve banking in our rural areas, they have to be cognizant of the cost of banks being able to report what's required by law and at the same time ensure that they comply with law but not make it so burdensome that they can't operate profitably.